Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I hope you are doing well. So today we will be making golf game. So for that I will be using my own backdrop that I have downloaded from the Google. Okay, I will give you the links in the description. You can also use it for yourself. So first convert it into vector. After that we will make it a bit bigger. Okay and then we will be using another black drop that is called platform also convert it into vector and make a copy out of it and then use it right here okay and decrease its size okay put it right here then make a copy and paste okay copy and paste copy and paste and in the end we will be using the gold flag just make a copy and paste it right here and there you go we have just made our first backdrop so first delete the unnecessary backdrops that won't be needed we will only use this one just make a duplicate out of it and then change its position okay like this one it will go right here and we will change its positions to here and here and we will make a copy out of it and paste it right here and there you go we have just made our second backdrop and just duplicate out of it and rearrange its positions for the third backdrop okay place it right here there you go we have just made our third backdrop so now let's go to the code area so for that we will be using our own sprite that I have downloaded from the Google okay first we will give the backdrops some names some names okay let's fill it oh the first level level one and the second backdrop we will give him the name of level two okay and the third one we will give him the name of level three that's great so now we will go back to the sprite uh, the code area and we will use so now the ball has very large size so for that we will decrease its size to 12 okay after that whenever the flag has been clicked I want him right here so for that go to the event blocked and use the when flag has been clicked block and go to the motion block and use this coordination and I want the ball to move in the right direction and the left direction so for that I will be using go to forever and then if then go to sensing block and use whenever the key space has been pressed click on this one and use the right arrow then use change x by 10 let's see the results that's great it is working just make a copy and put it right here and we will use the left arrow and just put a negative indication so let's see the results so that's great it is working so now first we want here the first level or the first backdrop so for that we will be using go to the looks block and use switch backdrop to the first one okay so whenever the flag has been clicked so the level one or the first backdrop will be used okay so now I want the ball to stay on the platforms and to jump on these platforms so for that I will be using my own variable which I will call jump okay just hide it here and go to the events block use whenever when the flag has been clicked go to the variable set jump to 0 then go to the control block use forever then go to variable change jump by minus 1 use this okay 
then we will give him the green color for to stay right here so for that go to control use if then go to the sensing block use sorry use the touching color and use the color of the platform which is green so whenever it touches the green color go to variable set jump to zero so it is the code for to staying on the platforms and now for the jump we will be using go to control block use if then then go to the operators block use an operator okay then go to the sensing block use the key put it right here and use we will be using up arrow and then directly duplicate it and put it right here so whenever it touches the color the green color and whenever the up arrow has been clicked so what should it do it should jump in like for example 14 steps so we will be using change jump by 14 for example 14 okay and whenever it jumps it should make a sound like a pop so for that we will be using POP -P. we will use this sound so let's put it right here and let's see the results sorry one thing is missing which is I want him to jump in the up direction so for that I will be using change Y by 10 and after that I will use the jump variable so now let's see the results that's great so now it is working okay so the next step is I want the ball whenever it touches the flag so it should change into the next backdrop okay and the ball should goes right here so for that I will be using go to the events whenever the flag has been clicked and use go to the control block use forever then if then go to the sensing uh, block use touching color use the color of the flag okay very sensitively okay then whenever it touches this color it should change into the next backdrop so for that we will use next backdrop and then go to the motion and use this coordination okay so whenever it touches the flag color it should go to this coordination which is this one and change its backdrop okay let's see the results that's great that's very good okay so now I want the ball whenever it goes down it should respawn right here so for that I will be using go to the control block use if then after that go to the operator block and use this pro, uh, operator okay it is going down so for that go to the motion block we will use the y position okay and write right here negative 170 so whenever it goes down to negative 170 it should respawn right here okay so let's just duplicate right it, this one put it right here and delete this one block okay so let's see the results that's great so now uh, the, the last thing is to put a sound a background sound okay so go to the loops and we will use the classic piano okay go to the code area and go to the event blocks when the flag has been clicked after that go to the control block use forever and go to the sound and use this block uh, scroll okay let's see the overall results <laughs> you have learned something from this video please make sure to like and subscribe to encourages us to make more contents for you have a nice day and goodbye